I, my memory has been so bad, I jotted down notes from my testimony, and I truly was afraid I might forget. So please don't worry. I just wanted to put that in front of you just in case. Praise the Lord. 28 years ago, next month, October, I received the Holy Spirit with the evidence of speaking in tongues. That summer prior to next month, 28 years ago, I was seeking to receive the Holy Spirit in January. I came to an event here and heard Keith give his bad jokes for the first time. And he had this faulty flower. They do the squirt the water right down in his jacket pockets. And I felt so sorry for that man. <laughs> I realized it's just part of Pete's jokes. It's just, it just don't work out well for him that way. <laughs> so praise the Lord. That was a long, long time ago. Gosh, I was lose my train of thought. Okay, I repented over the summer. I got baptized. Nina and I did the same day in the coffin downstairs. It was really the one that Lydia said she didn't think she'd ever return from downstairs. If they were going to do something to her, she'd never, her family would never see her again. But praise the Lord, we have this nice baptism tank here now. It's really a much better, easier experience. And I don't know why I'm so nervous. It's not like I haven't ever done this before. Let me get this back up here on my phone. This year has been a, a trying year in my family. For me, maybe not the rest of my family, but for me, since the first of the year, I'm telling you just a few of these highlights because the revelation that God gave me that I have in this little message to myself. I send myself a message and I send them to Evelyn when I need to remember something now. So I put them on my phone and they come to me that way I don't forget them before the meeting's over. So uh, I got up this morning and I was like the Lord was preparing me to give my testimony. And I was really surprised when Pastor Ward didn't ask me to give my testimony because it was so real in my mind. And I made the mistake of telling him that. And then he said, well, you're going to be here for the second meeting, right? So here I am. You're stuck with me. <laughs> um, okay. January. And this year, my mom, last year, my mom moved in with us. And having an, an elderly person move in with you was like nothing I had ever experienced before. And I didn't know having that ninth person in the house what it was going to be like. But it was having like another little person to care for. And my patience ran out sometimes. And I felt really bad that the Lord kept... I understand grace because I needed so much of it to forgive myself for not being perfect. And then my mom kept getting worse and worse. And during the course of this year, 2019, I think she's been to the hospital at least five times. It's so bad that the ambulance driver knew our house and knew her and knew her part of her medical history. Because he said, that's okay. He's a really nice little guy at this time. But anyway, came to our house a lot. And then she went to a care facility in and out of that place and staying there. And some weeks, I would get three to five calls about things that were happening with her. I mean, medication changes, she would get sick, she had a couple of small strokes, and then we bought this trailer. She got sick actually two weeks after we bought this trailer because I thought, oh, that would be a great thing to get the grandkids out a little bit during the summer because we have them all summer long and it's hard to get out, so we get that, and some of the grandkids hated going on the trailer, so that really wrecked that a lot because we have one that's real rebellious right now. So I have to stick all that in because two weeks after we bought the trailer long, that's when she got sick and never came home again. She's been out of facility since, and so it was like, oh, did I do the wrong thing, Lord? Because you seem to help me make that happen. I don't feel like I did because he keeps blessing things. And it's just like it gives me a little bit of hope. And it's like he keeps, and then trials keep coming and coming and coming. And then Bill kept getting sick, and we were going to go on our second little vacation. Two days before we left, he gets that vertigo. Falls in the gutter. You may not like me saying this. Fell in the gutter, passed out, had to take him to the hospital. He's at the hospital for five days. They don't fix anything. Don't depend on doctors. It's always God first. No matter what you have to go see for treatment, God is where the hope is at, and he's where the healing's at. They just patch us up sometimes. Well, we, we got a bill the other day for $79,000 that they sent for what they did to him in those five days. He was under observation, not admitted, full into the hospital. They didn't even fix anything. That was just for the nurses looking at him. And I'm serious. That's, that's how, anyway. They found out more things wrong with them, but they didn't fix anything you went in there with. And all these tests and stuff that he's had since, and they still can't fix it. But anyway, he has good days, bad days. He can walk, he stumbles, he falls. He fell off the ladder the other day. I'm telling you all this stuff really fast because this is what I feel like I live in the middle of a forest fire sometimes, and I can't quite put the fire out. And all, the, and then I have been sick, and we have a rebellious granddaughter, and then we have that little that little great grandson that we take care of, and the mother of his. It's ridiculous that comes in and out of her life and all kinds of issues. And the police come every now and then because of her. And then she was 
locked up stuff. They should all, this is all stuff in one family in one household. We don't, I don't feel very Christ-like sometimes with all the things we have to deal with. But I'm here to tell you that God makes a way that you are because his grace is so tremendous no matter how hard what you face is he gets you through each thing and when you in the beginning things that i thought would break my heart if they happened i'm a lot tougher with the lord than what i thought because i've been through most of those old things that i thought would break my heart and they didn't and i've been through a lot bigger things especially with my grandkids and i'm still here i'm still praising the lord and sometimes i think i'm going to die the pain is so bad it's only for a little while now because I think he's already gotten to do this, 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 and this. And my mom's still going. She's 93. And she's in a comfortable place right now. And Bill's still going. And when he, even at one, he had three falls in, in less than two weeks. And some of the falls, he could have cracked his head open. And he's, he didn't. I didn't have to take him to the hospital. So I looked for the blessing. And then today, I think it was during the gifts. I can't remember who said it, but I wrote down... All of this stuff, I, I, sometimes I, it's like I never, I don't ever think, okay, I don't feel sorry or bad or we've had to cancel a lot of just little simple events and things because of health issues or people problems. And all I can think is why is all this going on sometimes, Lord? There's got to be a purpose. There's got to be a reason. I don't understand why it seems so crazy and chaotic. And then just simple words that were said, maybe it was Pastor Ward, I'm sorry, I don't remember who said it today or if it was in the gifts. But when Jesus comes back, it won't be our faith. Our faith will, the faith part will go away. Because we're walking by faith, not sight right now. And all God's trying to do is to grow my faith. All of this stuff is to grow my faith so that I don't give up. And I can share whatever I learn, whatever I go through with all of you. And I just find that such a blessing that he sees me fit to be able to just withstand it. But those few words, for some reason, were just a, such a marvelous miracle to me. Because it answered all this chaos that I feel like I've been living in for about the last, well, it could be a few years now, but it's been really bad in the year of 2019. But it puts simple peace to the fact that it's, it's living my faith and my faith increased and this is all doing that for me. And when Jesus comes back, then I will have made it. Amen.